In this course, our focus has been on learning some complexities of compressible waves and understanding the applications of the shock expansion theory. In the real world, the shocks and expansions that are observed in supersonic flows interact with the object's surface, resulting in a complex distribution of waves in the flow field. Depending on the type of geometry, conditions of incoming flow, surrounding environment and other parameters, we saw that the waves that are created at different locations in the flow field can intersect and interact with each other. We also looked at situations where waves reflect off the surfaces of the object and create a complex wave pattern in the flow field. For these and other type of interactions, we studied how to use the shock expansion theory to predict the flow properties. Next, we analyzed some classical supersonic flow problems such as flow over a diamond airfoil, flat plate, and curved symmetric airfoil using the shock expansion theory. We also covered the thin airfoil approximation to the shock expansion theory and learned how it can simplify calculations of lift and drag forces on slender airfoil type objects. Finally, we explored the idea of unsteady wave motion where the waves move relative to the body. We covered aspects related to moving normal shock, acoustic waves, finite nonlinear waves, and centered expansion waves. Leveraging all these theory, we analyzed the fundamental problem of propagating waves in a short shock tube.